So when I was a little kid, I would often go outside, look at a clear blue sky, and see these quickly moving white spots in the periphery of my eyesight that would often take kind of a curved tree branch-like pattern. And I would go to my parents and be like, what are these things? And they had no idea what I was talking about. Not until I got to optometry school and took several years of vision science courses did I finally learn about what is called a blue field and toptic phenomenon, sometimes referred to as Shearer's phenomenon. And this happens to be a commonly asked question down in the comments section of many of the videos I've done on things like eye floaters. So I'm excited today to finally explain blue field and toptic phenomenon and compare that to different eye floaters and spots that you may see in your vision. That's today's video. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up everyone? Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show. The channel helps you learn all about the eyes, vision, and helping you see your very best. Now, today we're talking about blue field and toptic phenomenon. This is a cool topic for me because there's a lot of different spots that we can experience and see just as part of our human visual experience. And this one, I think even from a very young age, like I was like five or six, this one perplexed me. Now what I'm talking about is that if you do look out at a clear blue sky, or maybe you're on an airplane looking out a window, and you notice these quickly moving white spots that are usually more in your periphery of your vision, and if you try to look directly at them, they seem to kind of disappear or everything seems to shift. Now, of course, these are different from eye floaters, the dark spots or kind of cobwebs that seem to shift around in your vision when you look side to side. What I'm talking about here is different. We're talking about these little white spots, and they seem to always kind of follow the same zigzag uh, curved patterns. The blue field and toptic phenomenon is where light entering into your eye hits the white blood cells that are traveling through your arteries and veins within the retina of the eye. This is believed to happen because the light ends up hitting the white blood cell and it acts like a lens which focuses the light onto the photoreceptors underneath and you see these moving white spots. And this makes sense why we see it in like this kind of tree branching pattern in the periphery of your eyesight because that's the way your blood vessels and veins are laid out in the retina. And this even makes sense why you can't seem to chase these little moving white spots because the center part of your retina and your eyesight called the macula or the fovea within the retina is avascular. It's called the foveal avascular zone. I can even show you on this OCT angiography from the clinic where you can't see any blood vessels that have grown in the center part of the retina. Again, there's no blood vessels there for those white blood cells to travel through. That's why you don't see them in the center of your vision. Now, the reason it's called the blue field and toptic phenomenon, and the reason why we tend to see this more often when looking out at a blue sky or some sort of blue light, has a scientific reason for that. And it turns out that you will most likely see these moving white spots when looking at a blue wavelength of light around the 430 nanometer zone. And I did have to look this up just so I could best explain why 430 nanometers, why is that such a significant number? Well, it turns out that the red blood cells that are passing through your arteries and veins absorb light the best when it's at 430 nanometers. And your retina underneath that has already neuroadapted to the light that could be shining through those blood vessels. So when a white blood cell comes along and that light gets focused through that white blood cell, it ends up hitting the photoreceptors and it comes off as this white spot. Now, some people do report seeing this dark trail following the white spots, and that is believed to be an after image effect. For the same reason, if you look at a bright light like a light bulb, and then you look to the side, you'll see kind of this after image of the light bulb for a few seconds. It's just the retina photoreceptor cells regenerating after being bleached out by the bright light. And that's that same little dark trail. It's believed to be the same thing. Now, the good news about the blue field atoptic phenomenon is that if you see it, that's very normal. It's a normal human visual experience. But if you are bothered by the blue field and toptic phenomenon, then unfortunately there's no real treatment for it. I suppose you could look into different colored eyewear or sunglasses to try to shift everything from you're seeing from blue light to a different color, then maybe you just won't see it as much. Now my eye health question of the day for you is one, do you see blue field and toptic phenomenon? And more so, do you see any other spots, flashes of lights or things in your eyesight? Especially any questions you think that I might be able to answer because I know there's a lot of other things that go on with the eyes and the brain that are a little difficult to explain. And so please, 
ask me your questions, I'll do my best to get back to you. I just think of how I was when I was six, seven years old and seeing these spots, I would have loved some sort of a resource to better understand what's going on. Hey, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. And if you learned something new or just enjoy learning about the eyes, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you keep hearing about our new videos. Otherwise, again, thank you for watching. Dr. Allen here from Dr. Eye Health Channel. Keep an eye on it and we'll see you soon.